It's been a while. Three seasons have passed since we met. Time goes by so quickly. And in that time, many things change. But at the same time, some things in this world will always remain the same. Don't you agree? I see. If that's what you say, then it must be true. Talking with you has stirred up certain memories. Like that tower, for one. It's been on my mind a lot lately. I wonder, will our relationship stay the same? Or will it evolve? <laughs> no matter what the future holds, you and I will always be friends. That much is certain. I'll see you again, but until then, good night.
Hello. You know what? Day, Mom and Dad, they talked to me about why they were getting divorced. It was sad. But I listened to the whole thing. Did I do good? <laughs> Thank you. So, Mom and Dad, they said when there's no love, it's hard to stay married. But they said not to worry. Because they would love me no matter what. So I told them... It's okay if they get divorced. It must be hard to live with someone you don't love. Hey, so... I have to choose if I want to live with Mom or Dad. 
Who do you think I should pick? Yeah. I love my dad. He always buys me toys and stuff. Mom cries all the time now. I don't want her to be all alone. Maybe I should go with her. Oh, if I go with Mom, I might have to move somewhere far away. And then I won't be able to play with you anymore. It's no fair. I miss you too much. Better get home. Hey, please. Oh, you're back. Thank you. What's wrong? 
It's okay. You can come down now. I... I can't get down. I... It's too high. I shouldn't have climbed up here. The dog in the jungle gym were so scary. I thought I was gonna die. Thanks for helping me, mister. Right. Thank you too, Koromaru. And I brought them here. I knew where to find Koromaru all along. I heard from the priest. He said Koromaru would be at the shrine gate, looking after all the people in town. So even though he found a new spot, he's still protecting us? By the way, are you Koromaru's new owner? Is there really a difference? <laughs> well, as long as he's happy. Uh-oh, we better get home soon. Whoa, you're right! Okay, see you guys later! Why, hello! Just the other day, my high school organized a class reunion. <laughs> I had a splendid time. I laughed just thinking about it. I doubt you'd understand how I feel since you're still in high school, but a class reunion is a very important event. It's the perfect opportunity to show everyone how pathetic their lives turned out. Like that cat who made fun of me for eating plain rice. Or the ingrate who threw my holy socks in the trash. Now, they both look at me with envy. What they make in a year, I make in a month. My business is doing great. And I'd say I have a satisfying private life as well. Let me take you under my wing as our exclusive model. It's a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. Don't think I would extend this offer to just anyone. Oh, 
Remember that 40,000 yen you gave me? I'd say you've gotten your money's worth at this point. My time is worth at least 100,000 yen per hour, you know. Just think of all the free advice I've given you. You can thank me later. so much time to train here, so you have to practice on your own if you want to win. Yeah, we can do that. Good. And don't forget, know your limits and make sure you stretch properly. Oh, why don't you give them some advice, too? Yeah, but don't forget to stay focused till the end. Now listen, no matter what, think positive and don't give in to fear. Kids are going to challenge the sixth graders soon. Apparently, the winners will get to use the schoolyard. Earlier, they asked me to write the challenge letter for them. A little worried, actually. Well, not just about the race, but also about whether or not I spelled something wrong. So, what's your honest opinion? Age difference really matters when you're as young as they are. Do you really think they can beat the sixth graders? You're right, a coach has to believe in her team. And they've all trained so hard, too. He'll be fine, right? After all, they learned from us. Oh, then why am I feeling so nervous? It's gonna be okay. I'm sure they can win. asked you to write the challenge letter. I probably should have used bigger words. Ugh, I'll be so embarrassed if those sixth graders laugh at it. Oh, it's you. Welcome back. Thank you. 
ですよ back. This is the first time we've met during the day. Let's have a chat while the opportunity presents itself. That doesn't concern me. Now, let's be off. I understand one of my group has caused you some trouble. Is she in good health? It must be difficult looking after her. 
After all, you likely can't rein her in for very long. Or could it be you've already killed her? So you're keeping her alive. Then I take it you've had to use the suppressants. As I'd expect from Kirijo's resourcefulness. And you now have someone with first-hand experience among your number as well. If you already know about the suppressants, that simplifies things. Can you imagine it? A Persona user murdered by their other half. Such is the fate of a Persona that has gone berserk. As you have already seen for yourself. This power of ours is not meant to be wielded by just anyone. That holds true even for those who were awakened by force. It comes at a great cost, and we can only harness it by walking the line between life and death. This power makes us who we are. And yet, you hold the ability to wield so many. The Dark Hour has graced you with its favor, almost unjustly so from our perspective. Now, I ask you, don't you think it'd be a shame for you to lose such a special power? You stubbornly cling to that sentiment. Do you have no intention of understanding anything? Choosing to turn a blind eye towards your own power, to the grief of the fallen, the unchosen, the unloved. Such apathy, such insolence, you trample upon everything we stand for, and worst of all, your rejection of mine. Hmm. You tread upon your gifts like dirt, and in doing so, reveal your own arrogance. It disgusts me. I see now that nothing will change your mind. If our beliefs are at odds with each other, and neither side is willing to concede, then a battle is unavoidable. Our final confrontation will come in our own time. You have been blessed with a power greater than any other, and yet you don't see its true value. <sighs> Such a shame. Quite make it, huh? According to the news, a typhoon just hit. Apparently, it's the biggest one on record. It's moving slowly, too, so it'll be gloomy for a while. Yeah, thanks to that, the school festival got canned. Well, less work for us in the end, I guess. Still sucks that we'll be stuck indoors for vacation, though. So, what you gonna do over break? I always did picture you as a guy with too much free time. What about you, Fuka? Me? The only thing I plan to do is go to the movies. Ooh, a movie? Do you have a date? It, it's not like that. I'm going with Natsuki-chan. We actually talk about movies all the time. But with this typhoon, I don't know if we'll make it. How about you, Yukatan? Still gonna have practice? Hmm? I don't know. The archery range is outside, so it's most likely canceled until the storm blows over. Same here. That stupid typhoon is gonna mess up my trainer. You gotta be booked, right, Kurijo senpai I'm not sure yet. Why are you so curious about our business, Iori? Oh, me? Well, I'd be happy to tell you about my plans. I suspect that you will be visiting Chidori-san. Although she is in stable condition now, we still can't release her. Man, Aichan, you must be psychic. And you know what? She even told me she wants me to come. Oh, man! I can't believe she said that. So I figured I should probably check up on her. You know, with the storm and all. Mm-hmm. What's with him? 
Is he all excited? Um, well... You don't know either, huh? Um... Oh, Amada-kun, what are your plans during the break? Oh, I'm not really doing anything in particular. Come on, you gotta be doing something. Oh, I'll probably go visit the shrine. Dude, you're a kid, not an old man. I always go to pray, though. I guess you could say, I have a wish I want granted. <sighs> anyway, I'm going back to my room. I've got a lot of homework to do. Oh, okay. Just holler if you get stuck, yeah? Waiting for you? It's been quite some time since I last summoned you in your dreams. Several seasons have come and gone since I first offered you my assistance. Now then, your persona abilities, have you been using them wisely? To be direct, I sense a great catastrophe in your future, but it would be a pity to lose one with such potential as yourself. Therefore, please allow me to provide you with a new form of assistance. I will unlock further secrets of fusion previously unrevealed to you. I am certain that you will find this to be of great benefit. But for now, you must be tired. Please, rest easy. Until we meet again, farewell. 